Hey, hey, just going for a little walk here to clear my mind. I've got the rocket lab facility right next door there. Sometimes we can hear a big propellant plant. I think that's what's humming away right now, sucking up, stealing all the uh, atmosphere for the methyl methylox rockets or what they are. So it's good to clear my mind here, go for a little walkie poo. So let's deduce from first principles. Let's bring it down as simple as we can make it. It's important to know who the players of the game are. Basically there's those who are pro freedom, pro individual choice, pro power to the people, pro life. And then we got to think about the narratives. There are those narratives, real, really any narrative is can't be the truth, right? A narrative, the whole point of a narrative is that it's made to it's made as a big ad campaign to direct attention towards a particular agenda. So there are many narratives that are very not for individual choice. They're not for individual freedoms. They're not for individual privileges. They are using all sorts of excuses about why individual choices, individual privileges. Why is this, things as simple as speech should be restricted? And this is very clear. And so it's easy to see which narratives are coming from where. If we just understand who's trying to achieve what. So it's very clear that we've got big powerful interests and even if we look at somewhere here in New Zealand it's clear that we've got the big powerful interests the United Nations the World Economic Forum UNESCO we've got the whole liberal media all in the US but at the end of the day it all goes back to a few very powerful funding mechanisms in the United Nations who are all working together with the liberal media big tech etc to come up with some narratives that you know draw people's attention t towards this whole idea that individual humans can no longer be trusted that we need some ai you know big tech together with the liberal media together together with the whole woke mind virus and all these things to to uh, you know, usher in a new a new era, and finally, and finally solve all of the problems by you know with authoritarianism. So even here in New Zealand, it's very very anti the Donald. The Yeah, everything, to be honest. It's very clear that the United Nations, they have certain requirements that they... There'll be, you know, there'll be a, a big board meeting and they'll say, these are the requirements that we need. You know, if it's, if they'll, they'll have them for every country. But for New Zealand, you know, it'll be for every institution, including the police force there will be this particular uh, 
you know, requirement that they have to meet this year and within the education, this, this, this and this that they have to do. Within healthcare, there'll be this, this, this or this and this mandate that the United Nations sets for New Zealand, okay? And obviously, this is all stuff which is not very, very anti the Donald. Any of the, uh, you know, pro, pro freedom, pro choice, they're very anti that. And so I've been very vocal on, uh, you know, on social media, on, um, on YouTube. I've been very vocal, so it's it's no wonder that it's been uh, quite difficult to f finding work. You know, I mean, one reason is that I really I really don't want to be around people who uh, I have to, you know, can't say this, can't say that. So on one on. On the one on the one side, it's it's myself that I I, I don't really like being around uh, people who who think that you know feelings are some objective reality that that there has to be you know laws in place to protect. Like obviously, feelings are, are very subjective, right? And they are very you know, emotions, feelings, these things are very subjective and they're very short term and they are a learning curve, you know. All this stuff to do with emotional coaching for children, this is one of the requirements that the UN has set in the health, for the healthcare thing <laughs> and that's all working together with the whole liberal, uh, neo-liberal agenda. You know, this is uh, is designed to weaken the mind. You know, d difficult emotional times, you know, uh, hurt feelings. These are things that people need to go through to build mental fortitude. And when you build mental fortitude, you, you enhance your ability to succeed in life because you become more resilient. You become, you know, because it's, it's necessary to develop a really good chill pill, a really good, um, you know, various different qualities in order to really uh, relax the mind and be a, be a relaxed person that is, that is not, bah, you know, flustered by something, it is necessary to, to learn how to deal with uh, hurt feelings and different emotions and things. So yeah, on the one side, the reason that I haven't had uh, a, a job for a while, it's because I don't want to be around all these people that are really, that are just really complicit with the the whole neoliberal uh, agenda. And on the other side, it's because they they see what it is, they see who I am, and um, and there's a lot of obviously the. There, there must be some AI algorithms that are that are detecting what I'm saying on Facebook, and then that are reporting it back to uh, reporting it to the job seek, the websites, and that are reporting it to Wins. Or there must be some, maybe not that crazy, but but to some degree that will be those algorithms will be having an influence, you know. So that that's really weird because. It's really stupid because obviously myself, I'm very mentally resilient. I'm, you know, I can drive a car, I can drive a forklift, I can easily learn how to drive a truck, I can easily learn how to operate, you know, a chainsaw, whatever, you know, to to get a job here, you know. So, I mean, it's just going to take time. Hopefully, I can find work with a company here in New Zealand that's you know at least is either is is okay with pro the donald policies or it's just neutral they don't they don't care you know hopefully but um yeah so we'll we'll see how it goes but uh 
here. I can really feel everywhere I go here in New Zealand that um, yeah, this whole neoliberal agenda, it's, it's really, uh, it seems to have still quite a stronghold. Um, yeah, I mean, that's fine, you know. You can, these neoliberal uh, people that, you know, you can, you can have a, you can have certain, certain districts or you can have an island somewhere where you can make it all communist and neoliberal and neoliberal and thing whatever go for it you know but um yeah just don't try and force it upon the whole world you know some people want to be communist you can be communist you can go and have a commune somewhere 